How are you going guys? So today I decided to hit lower body and it was my power day. So if you look over to my left, I've got my friend Danny with me in the gym training. She's also um, getting uh, coached by me at the moment. So she's gone through a massive weight loss. So, you know, eventually on the channel, I'm going to have her featured on here and show her progress and how she's going. But today's workout, I decided to kick off with 100 kilos for three reps. Tried to work up to 130 kilos. So started off with 100, moved into 120 kilos for three reps, moved really well the weight today. Got my knee sleeves on as well. So the weight felt relatively good on my shoulders, hit good depth just to parallel, just a little below parallel, trying not to have too much lumbar flexion at the bottom. So he, as you see here, this is 70 kilos for Danny. So this is really, you know, I'm really proud of her for hitting this weight. She, you know, was basically starting on the bar and just a little bit above the bar. And now she's, you know, got 70 kilos. So I'm just trying to give you guys a better angle on how she's improving her depth. So I'm really, really happy with her progress and even with the pause squat at the end there. So I'm really happy with her progress. I'll have her up on the channel every now and then as well because we do seem to get some weekend sessions. So yeah, she makes me proud and I'm glad, you know, she's come a long way. So back into the squats, did another set of 120, just trying to give you guys a better angle. But like I was saying, they were moving really fast today. Uh, was, you know, really trying to keep pressure as well on my um, abs as you can see really pressing up against the belt and just trying to get below parallel i'm pretty happy overall that i thought i was even going to go for one more set so i decided to hit 130 kilos and try and push myself a little bit further and i managed to get all three so there's the spoiler for this but yeah i did get all three reps they were you know the last one was a grinder but I feel pretty good. I mean, 130 kilos for me, you know, weighing it around 75, 76 kilos. I wasn't hitting 130 kilos when I was above 90 kilos in body weight. So, you know, I mean, for me, this is a huge PR and I'm 20 kilos lighter than, you know, when I used to lift. So I'm really happy with how my squats are progressing and, you know, I hope to push more once I start, you know, putting some weight back on. So after the squats, moved into some sumo deadlifting. So just kicked it off with some light 100 kilo ones. And now I'll show you the clip um, here. Moving into 140 kilos for three reps. I haven't, I don't think I've actually ever hit this weight with sumo deadlifts. I normally conventional deadlift anything above two plates so I wanted to try and you know push myself and see if I could actually get them and they went up okay so that felt really good and then I decided to do a second set as well and you know I think I've got here three and a half plates on there and that felt no that's three plates yeah it felt really heavy but I pushed through again and it felt okay after that it was, you know, <laughs> too much, so I decided to try out uh, back to the conventional deadlift and go for a bit heavier. So on the bar, I've got, I think I've got three plates and a five per side, which is about 150. Just trying to keep my neck forward, and that felt okay. And then after that, I tried to push myself for one last set, so... So yeah, like I said, that was way too much. My nervous system was completely taxed. I'd done about six or seven sets of deadlifts. So I moved back into conventional and just pulled 140 kilos for three reps. So that's my squat and deadlift. Moved into the accessory work after that and that was pretty much it. So thanks guys for watching the video and I'll speak to you guys soon and just hang around to the end. Hey guys. So I just got home from training and thought I'd you know, quickly reflect back on that session. Um, I only recorded the deadlifts and squats for you. So after the deadlifts and squats, I did do some leg extensions, some uh, hamstring curls and also some calves. And then I did some cardio after that. But just touching on the deadlifts and the squats, 
Today was, uh, you know, not a successful day with deadlifts. Uh, squats went okay, that felt really good. But with the deadlifts, um, I feel like it's starting to, you know, affect me. I think they're not sleeping as well. Just the recovery is not, I'm not getting the recovery. Last night I did play indoor soccer, which I do with some of my friends. So I feel like that could have impacted me. I did get to bed late. I was literally running on three hours sleep. So I think those little things there do affect, you know, my workouts. I'm just going to try and sleep more, I guess, and recover properly. Being on low calories, I'm probably not getting the op the most optimal recovery anyway. So I feel like those little things do make a difference, especially when it's coming to you know hitting those heavy weights. So I'm gonna try today. I did start off trying to pull heavier with sumo deadlift, but I don't think my strength is there on the sumo yet, as much as it is um, just keeping it conventional. But you know, I'm gonna try and keep mixing it up to try and build both up, get stronger. But you know, as I've said in previous videos, I'm sure more strength will come as my calories, you know, increase. So let's see how we go. We can only, you know, keep pressing on and keep pushing forward. So let's see how we go, guys. So again, as always, thank you for the support. Thank you for you know sharing my videos and commenting. It you know, means the world to me that you guys you know have the time you know or take the time out of your day just to you know drop a comment or a like. So thank you guys as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button helps a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next video.